Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Species 7 here for Farming Simulator 15. And uh, that's kind of weird. The, uh, of course you can pull a chain, if you have a chainsaw you can scroll with your mouse wheel and up it will come. But uh, I have my start record button bound to one of my mouse keys. I have a, a gaming mouse. It's got all kinds of programmable keys, yada yada. But anyway, um, even though my record function is actually like control alt page up, I believe, um, yeah, for some reason it responds exactly the same as if uh, I'd activated the chainsaw by moving the scroll wheel. Anyways, enough of the fancy tech talk. The uh, ladies have left us some presents, so... I thought we'd hop on in here and say thank you girls, we will take these. And I don't think eggs are probably worth much more than they've ever been, but we will certainly find out at some point. Let me find out indeed. Now, I don't remember, at the end of last episode, had I already found 10 coins so that the rest showed up on the map? I think I had, eh? So you guys know that now if I look at my map, that uh, all those little yellow dots happen to be the remaining coins. So, but that also is not exactly of import. You will see by the magic money counter, I have $60,000. A uh, combination of selling off the crops that we did harvest and a uh, couple of mowing missions I believe I now have. Uh, mission income, well, no. That was from the last... Somewhere it does actually tell you how many missions you've run. Okay. Ooh, we have 12 eggs. There's still one there. We missed one. Ah, darn it. Ooh, 15% of our first pallet of wool. Our cows are doing good. We've got a little tiny bit of milk. Uh, productivity, of course, shows zero because we've just loaded the game. Uh, completed mowing missions, four. So there you are. Total, t total missions we've played is four. What I kind of want to do today is, as I told you guys in the last episode, Go grabs us some forestry type equipment because there is good money to be had in them there trees and I think that we're gonna take this guy to help bring this stuff back well maybe not first thing we're gonna do though just cuz is give her a real good wash I can hardly see out the darn window anymore. Now, the weights seem to be a bit of a special item in so much as they only can be cleaned from one face. I'm sure if you drop it on the ground, that might actually change that. Because I think the reason it only cleans if you spray it on the front is because it recognizes everything else as something else. In this case, I guess the tractor. So, what I'm in fact going to do is take this tractor down and sell her, grab a bunch of money out of the bank, because uh, that old adage is true, sometimes it just takes money to make money, and I'm going to pick us up a different tractor, about the same horsepower, and some, uh, as I say, forestry gear. That looks pretty darn nice. I think they'll give us top dollar for her now. Sure, as long as we don't crash it on the way to the store or anything dumb like that. <laughs> Which, of course, you guys have all seen me drive. So we're down to 81 liters of fuel. Well, I don't think I'll bother to top it up, because whatever we buy, they'll top up for us. Just the way they are when we drop up. 50, 60, 70, 100 grand in their hand. Everybody's your friend. Woohoo! Alright, well. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Zoom, 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 zoom. And 
Oh. <laughs> Apparently, I had already thought of this and didn't think it worth washing the other one. So at least we get to drive in a nice clean tractor. Oh, there you go. So that's what happens. You take a mucked up old dude like me and you get him to play more than one game at a time. And, uh, can't remember a dang thing he did the day before. Of course, come to think of it, I'm not sure I remember what I had for breakfast. Oh yeah, I am. Raisin bagel. It's damn good, too. Alright, now, do you want to sell this? Yes, I do. We now have 82,000, eh? Hmm. That's, uh, nice, but... I don't think it's going to quite do what we want it to do, is it? So... How do you... Um... Shy of actually going to an ATM, how do you bring up your bank? That's something I'm not too sure of. Is it... nope? Uh, it's not tab, that'll put us in a vehicle. Uh... Oh, no, no. No, not that, or that. Hmm, well. Well, I know that's crouch, that isn't gonna help. Straight alt, no. This, no. <laughs> uh, R, T. No, nothing at all. I, yeah, I know what that is, thanks. But I can't... No, I can't actually activate anything in my finances from here, can I? No, not really. Um. Hmm. That's the store. Well. Aren't I just a ditzomatic? Uh, yeah, I just have no idea, guys. None at all. So I may have to find a bank. Would have been nice, actually, if they'd have had one here. Where do they have one? A bank, a bank. Uh. Is that the. And that's not one. Hmm. All right, well, that's uh, more than embarrassing, to say the least. That's not it either. So... Ah, oh, here we go. Okie dokie. I <laughs> found it. I'm so happy. We are happy. All right, well, we do have a hundred grand out, so... We will, uh, take that up to its happy days. So, now, with this amount of money in our pocket, just look around, make sure nobody's coming at us with a handgun or something. Okay. Well, let's set about spending it just as quickery as we can. And we do want, first off, a tractor. And what I want is, instead of this guy, which 270, 90 horsepower, and that's what we get, we've got this guy that only costs us 70 a day. He's 75 horsepower, but we can throw the front loader piece on him. 64k, yeah, it's a fair bit of money. But I do believe the next one we're looking at would be way up here at the Power Star. Huh? No, oh, didn't go far enough. Um, yeah, I think way up here to the Steyr at 105. I'm not sure, maybe one of the others in between does as well, but um, I think we are going to pick up this New Holland, so let's buy one of those. Thank you very much. Now let's go into forestry. And oops, one more thing we need here, of course, is this thank you and I want well I'm gonna want a bale spike and I'm gonna want uh, 
couple other things, but what I want first is that, the log fork, thank you. Now, we can go into forestry, we have $112,000 left. So, forestry equipment. We will want one of these, but I'll pick one of these up when I've got the uh, space and ability. We require, without a doubt, however, Geez, I'd like to just jump into buying a chipper and just load everything up into the chipper with that other <laughs> unit, but no. The chipper we will do with the profits we make from this puppy. So we do need one of those, and we thank you. Um, actually, I guess we might as well get our stumpy muncher while we're here, huh? Again, not the most important, but then again, it is certainly the cheapest. So we will buy that. Alrighty. We're down to 53k. Cool. That's uh, that's not bad. That means we're not really all that far away from getting the chipper. So, there we are, guys. Everything is gently placed upon the earth. <laughs> yeah, wish, eh? So, in we go. And our first New Holland. Whoa. Man. They must be just about out of plastic trees there, I tell you. Because they used a few to make this guy. Ooh, is she ever zippy. Wazoom. Whee. And. Ooh. The uh, loader portion's pretty zippy as well. Neat. Whee. And everything works the same. Openy, closey. Beautiful. I like it. Well, it's alright. And uh She's a little bit limp, but I probably use a different tractor to operate this thing. But I think you will at least tolerate towing it. Alright, let's have a look here. Not bad, eh? Not bad. So this is our log grabbing device. That's a pretty uh, serious looking chunk of hardware, I must say. I must say. And, uh, cool. Cool, very nice. Better look here at our Steepa Stindle Palfing things yeah our uh, log loader and trailer and here we have our stumpity muncher can't really see much with those chains in there but it's got a big grinding cutting wheel down in the center with a uh, runs off the PTO we can just hook her up to our tractor and be happy so let's whip on over there and do just that. Lovely. And I take it all this does is... Uh, oh no. It actually has uh, a heck of a lot more control used. Most controlled. I assumed we would just raise and lower it with V like we did with the old one. But no, it is indeed a... Uh, quite a bit of action going on there. We can go for some pretty humpty stumps. Indeed. I guess we want our fairways off the ground. Okay. So, um, where this gear is actually going to go, because I want to do most of the cutting, is going to be down at the lumberyard, which I take it is where? Freight yard? No. Rain all later, no garden center. Up at the top. Oh yeah, the lumber yard. Alright, so with that in mind. We can I think just head straight up that hill. Might do it for us, boys. Indeed. And um as far as the coins go, you know what? I think uh I think I will pick them up whenever I run across them. And when we get all of them, we will... Uh, 
grab the big huge chunk of there it is the big huge chunk of crops that they give us and go thank you very much and uh, that'll get us into some real high-end gear so but <coughs> like maybe a trailer to actually tow something more than uh, 5,000 liters up the hill <laughs> that'd be a good start all right so we want to go all the way up there I haven't actually been to the lumber yard and because there's so many YouTube videos out on this game, in all honesty, I've been kind of avoiding it. Um, there's the circus field. That's where the other mowing mission is, which is cool. And... So the lumber yard... I believe... Now oh, there's another coin in there, but I'll worry about that off screen unless I'm going to be right beside them. Uh, that looks like the lumber yard. Am I right? Am I right? No, that's somebody's house. Oh, apparently I may have gone too far. Was I supposed to go down that little bridge? I think I was. My apologies, I still a relatively new map. I have been over this bridge before. It gave me a little bit of trouble with whatever I was towing at the time, I think. She oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Are you people freaking nuts? Good lord. We ought to put a crosswalk or at least paint some sort of warning or a sign or something. Alright, so this is our lumber yard. Alright. Let's just uh, pull off here. And we will, at this point, I think, uh, lower this guy down. And drop him right there. Nicely done. Let's have a look about, shall we? Okay. Cool. There's our train waiting. Uh, what do we got here? Oh yeah. Apparently this is uh, some kind of a bandsaw assembly or something. I guess they bring the logs across here and yeah, board them up right there. So, hmm. This, however, seems to be actually taking entire logs. So, or maybe it's dropping it here at this mill. Hard to say. But this is uh, kind of weird that they'd actually have a, a lumber mill here if this is a pickup point for logs. Well, there you go. Who the heck knows, right? Here we have our log pond. This is, uh... I get down to the local log pond quite often. It's a good place to hang out and watch sea lions do their little performances. What I'd really like to see down here, is there one? Oh yeah, there is two. I can see it over there. A fir forest. Um... Most commonly, this is what we'd be cutting here on the coast in BC, or these fir trees. So, and much like these, they're kind of nice to cut because they are straight. As opposed to really gnarly things. Poplar is straight too, but they got a lot of branches. Whereas if you get into things like oaks and maples, they tend to be really twisted, kind of hard. Like those, I would think, are fir logs, just from looking at them. But, there you go. So apparently you can... <laughs> right on. You can uh, either chuck logs in the pond, or you can uh, sell them at an appropriate sell point up here. Is this what I'm looking at over here, perhaps? Yeah, this has got to be it here. Uh, selling wood. You can unload any wood you have and sell it. Straight and long pieces get more money than short bent ones. <laughs> that's good to know. And what's this? Oh, okay, that's that switch you can throw, apparently, and it will send the train on its way to deliver the happy goods you have brought it. Hmm. So, very, very neat. There must be coins around here, I'm sure. Would appear to be from this thing. Anyway, there's one. Excuse me, we now have 30. And 31. 
Oh, it's not around back. It's up here. Must be in the shed. Mr. Shed. Where are you? There it is. Look at that. Alright. Okay, so this is the lumber yard. Now. Everybody but. Let's get into our newly Holland. And see how she does. I'm going to have to come back down here because, like I said, there are a couple of other forks. And this is going to be one of those tools that isn't going to be limited to hanging out at the uh, lumber area. I'm just going to drop the trailer there and the uh, log fork. And then we will probably drive this one back to the farm. And what I'm going to do between episodes now... I do believe, I could be wrong, but I do believe I took all of the crops down. Well, yeah, I did, because I sold the canola. So, yeah. 38 is empty, 24 is empty, 29 is empty. So I will prep the fields, I will try and do some missions and such. Um, basically, I want to get our money up. Yeah, so... And then, uh, hopefully by next episode, I should be sitting on a good chunk of cash. That would do us just fine. No. Whoopsie. <laughs> and I may just, just, like I said, collect a few coins here and there. Just because it's... Uh, almost missed the turn again. Good way to make... Uh, well... I wouldn't mind having that crop sit in the silos, you know? Not because we wouldn't have to... I'm not stopping this time, dude. Not because we wouldn't have to grow crops anymore. 200,000 does sound like a lot, but... Uh, when we start getting into gear that's two or three hundred thousand dollars a pop, then that 200,000 isn't nearly... Uh, gonna cover it for any sort of length of time, you know? Alright, so... Yeah, just pop the trailer off there. Very nice. And the forks. I think we will drop off there. Oops, okay. Apparently should have thought about that a little better. Let's move that forward once. There we go. And the other thing I wanted to know, does this actually have a full pickup? No, it does not. Alright, good to know. So there's the trade-off. As well as a little bit of horsepower. But, like I said, the versatility of now having a front loader should uh, more than make up for that. Yes, indeed. Alright, well, I'm going to head back to the store, and I think I will buy, uh, hmm, well, either a pallet fork or a bale fork to throw on the front of this thing. We will need the bale fork, or the uh, pallet fork, sorry, to deal with our wool here in the very near future, plus the fact we can then take on transport missions, so, I didn't. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to uh, head back down to the shop here. And from there, like I said, I will uh, pick up the other fork for this. And I'm going to try and make us a ton of money. Next episode, we will be getting into forestry. So, I will uh, probably do a practice tree or two, just so I don't look like too much of a complete noob when we go to start. But till then, guys, uh, if you liked the episode, please leave a comment, leave a like, feel free to share the videos, all of that happiness. And, uh, well, as usual, take care of each other, folks. This has been Species 7. Ciao for now.